Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you my weeklies for the month of August. I'm a bit late as I was on vacation with my family and friends. We've spent some days with them and we've had such a nice time. It rained most of the time, but we didn't bother much. We went to see them and we had to spend a lot of time on the road anyway. Honestly, I need sunlight, but usually the summer is so hard in Madrid. Between July 15th and August 15th, you almost cannot breathe. It's like living in an oven. In fact, they say Madrid is nine months of winter and three months of hell. So I'm really happy this year is so much better. We're having temperatures around 30-35 Celsius, so it's like 90 Fahrenheit, instead of 40-45 like 110 Fahrenheit. Remember I told you in my last video that I love tasting different honey types? Well, last week I got to taste some that my aunt produces and it's so damn good. Where my parents live, there are honey producers and their specialty is gingerbread. It's in the shape of a cake, baked with honey and even chocolate chips or orange peel. I think it's my favorite sweet along with a good cup of black tea with citrus. My parents also have a little vegetable garden. My father grows a lot of fruits in it and then my mother bakes her own marmalades. So as you can imagine, I had delicious breakfasts every day and we had to take some jars and gingerbread home with us. Getting back to the spreads, as you can see I doodled some jars with tags for the first weekly. And that's it for the first weekly. I think it's my favorite spread this month. Okay, so here I spared you with the line drawing and directly filmed the doodles. I think it's a bit more interesting. For the second weekly, I did a shelf. For this setup, I was inspired by Notes and Coffee's April weekly setup and then I adapted it to my team. If you don't know Notes and Coffees yet, I suggest you check her out on Instagram. Her account is so aesthetic. She did that setup in April with a beautiful grapevine and I loved it, so I was feeling very inspired to adapt it with the honey theme. I will link her Instagram in the description box below. As always, I like to do a mini calendar in a weekly that's in the middle of the month. Those were the last minutes of my white gel pen. And now I'll leave you with the coloring part.
and that's it for the second weekly. I'm quite happy with the result. Finally, for the last two weeklies, I did one page weeklies as I'll have less work. On the third weekly, I doodled a weird honeycomb dripping in a pot that reminds me of Winnie the Pooh. I don't know what you think. And it was a funny co coincidence because I got to use a honeycomb for the first time in my trip in France. <laughs> and then on the last weekly, I just did some lavender tricks. I think you can't really appreciate it in the video, but when I color the lavender twigs, I try to make it a little bit irregular, so some parts are darker than others, and it gives it a little depth. For the days, I tried some new lettering technique, new for me, and honestly, I don't think I did it too well. I like the lettering part, but it, I had a really hard time outlining the letters. My hand was shaking a lot while I was outlining, so for the last weekly I just didn't film and my hand was shaking a lot less. And we're done. A simple setup for simple weeks. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're looking for more monthlies or weekly ideas for next month, check out my other videos and hit the notification bell. If you want some tips about bullet journaling, check out my Instagram.